Transformative School Head of Justice Cecilia Muñoz Palma High School, Dr. Aurelio Almario, to the Competent Assistant Principal, Dr. Maria Rodora Maliao, to the Committed Administrative Staff, to the Honorable Guest present in this prestigious event, dear teachers, learners, parents, and supportive stakeholders of the school, good day! The unpredictable changes brought about by the current pandemic have prompted Justice Cecilia Muñoz Palma High School to implement new measures to continuously and continually improve the learning delivery modalities. And despite the nature of the new educational system, the administration also sees the need to sustain current practices which shows favorable results for teachers, learners, and all the stakeholders. Hence, Strong leadership of school head paired with committed stakeholders is the key to the successful delivery of quality education, particularly during challenging times. It's truly remarkable to say that Justice Cecilia Muñoz Palma High School has greatly risen to the ranks of successful secondary schools not only in the second congressional district but in the school's division of Quezon City. It is noted that by working together toward a common goal, coupled with hard work and commitment, success can be achieved. Dr. Almario, with your leadership and management of the school, truly you have shown to your internal and external partners what equates to hard work, collaboration, and dedication, and that is a success. It is recognized that the achievements and accomplishments of Justice Cecilia Muñoz Palma High School are the results of keen and devoted efforts striking all opportunities. Congratulations and best wishes on the school's next academic adventure. Saludo po ako sa inyo. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay po kayo. Isang magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. It's really a distinct honor and pleasure and of course a privilege given to me to be able to address you today this morning po on the occasion of this uh, state of the school address for Justice Cecilia Muñoz Palma High School. Of course, led by their very supportive and visionary uh, school head, Dr. Almario Aurelio. Yan. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and of course to all the uh, staff and uh, teachers of uh, Justice Cecilia Muñoz Palma High School. There is a saying po that goes, what gets measured gets done. Okay? And ako po, personally, I'd like to add to that, and I always say what gets measured gets to be better, gets to be made better. Okay? And yun po yung uh, tunay na rason uh, for today's uh, occasion on the state of the school address. It will give that us that glimpse po of uh, where the school has started, ano po yung current situation niya ngayon, and very, very importantly po, we will get to see ano po yung kanyang aspirations and ano yung goal na pinagtutulong-tulungan po ng lahat ng faculty at staff ng Justice Cecilia Muñoz Palma High School. So, sa lahat po ng nakikinig, kasama ng ating mga kaguroan, of course, ang ating mga magulang ang ating strongest stakeholders at partners in education in the new normal ang ating mga magulang na kasama ng ating mga mag-aaral sa kanilang tahanan and of course syempre po the reason for being and ang tunay na misyon ng DepEd ang pag-deliver ng quality education sa lahat ng ating mag-aaral I hope that today as you tune in to this uh, state of the school address we get to see po and we get to find out saan tayo makakapagtulong-tulungan saan tayo pwedeng magbigay ng ating suporta at tulong para maabot po ng school ang kanilang mga layunin and so I commend po all the uh, staff and all the people behind this uh, meaningful event marami po tayong kasamahan sa school na talagang tunay pong nag-extend uh, ng kanilang suporta at tulong para maging possible po itong activity na to the people behind the scenes in making this possible, yung ating nag, uh, makes this streaming possible, yung mga nagbigay po ng mga invitasyon para sa ating mga panauhin ngayong umaga. Of course, lahat po ng nagtulong-tulong para lumabas po yung tamang datos ng skwelahan at 
patuloy na magtutulong-tulong po para sa maabot po itong kanilang mga mithiin uh, in the improvement and the development of Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma High School. So to their uh, very supportive and uh, fatherly school head, Dr. Uh, Almario Aurelio, congratulations sir for this event. All the people behind this, thank you so much for your wonderful effort. And of course, to the whole family of Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma High School, uh, mabuhay po kayo and uh, thank you very much for all your efforts and continuing to support our mission of delivering quality education and ang uh, pagpapatunay po na lahat ng ating ginagawa ay para sa bata at para sa bayan. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Magandang magandang umaga po. My warmest greetings to Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma High School family, both its external and internal stakeholders. Today, we have a journey of how Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma High School conquered the very challenging new landscape of learning due to the worldwide pandemic, the 360 degrees encompassing every degree of success. The past school year, Though we went through a lot of uncertainties, fear, and sorrow, we could proudly say we succeeded to make education continue with flying colors. We are confident that we won over the challenges because of the collaborative efforts and commitment of everyone, the teaching and non-teaching personnel, the parents, our barangay officials, the alumni, the city government, and all other stakeholders. Congratulations for winning the battle. We remain to be resilient as we traverse this school year. Indeed, things were not easy. Things are not easy. We go through a lot of adjustments. We can't be complacent. We can't have the wait and see attitude. We have to be dynamic as we address the changing needs due to the changing situations. Like now, we are preparing for a hybrid learning that is the face-to-face -face learning. Preparing for this face-to-face -face modality that will interface with the distance learning. Let us not falter. Let us be inspired by our vision and mission that no child left behind. We must be motivated by the fact that our Almighty destined us to be molders of the youth. Let us always be true to our pledge to faithfully discharge the best of our abilities, the duties and responsibilities as facilitators of learning. The school's division office continue to support and serve the schools through our personnel and the supervisors. Also, to the school partners, we are forever grateful for making Jad Cecilia Munoz Palma High School, a school of excellence. As we look back, let us listen to Dr. Almario Aurelio as he shares the all successes and maybe with trickles of failures that serve as motivations and inspirations to work better. Congratulations for a productive school year, a year that may be challenging, but we say we are proud we made it. We continue be, to be the best facilitators of learning, to make the learners become the best version of themselves. Again, congratulations.
fight against COVID-19. Teachers have expanded the corners of their classrooms to various parts of the world, all in the name of learning. Schools' different interventions and initiatives to continue education has leave a great impact to the lives of the students, parents and guardians, community and stakeholders to uplift and uphold learning in the new normal setup. Today's event will present the accomplishments of the school and its future directions, recognizing the loyalty and contributions of stakeholders as they are considered to be the pillars of the institution. Furthermore, giving recognition and prestige to the students and the school itself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Justice Cecilia Munoz, Palma High School's State of the School Address 2022. Presenting the Masters of Ceremonies for today's very special event, let us all welcome Mr. Jeffrey Z. Barrientos and Mrs. Vanessa Tan Nava. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. Welcome, Welcome to this year's State of the School Address. I am excited, we are all excited, to witness the first Sosa of our school head, Dr. Almario and Aurelio. Yes, we are indeed. We cannot wait to see all the developments and the many accomplishments our school has. Good morning to all of you. Let us be prepared and join us in watching the State of the School Address of Justice, Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma High School by Dr. Almario and Aurelio. Before we watch the State of the School Address of our school principal, let us explain first some things for you to understand. What is SOSA? S-O-S-A stand for State of the School Address. Government schools in the Philippines are headed by school administrators who are generally called school heads. These school heads carry out the state of the school address every year to showcase the accomplishment of the school and its future directions. SOSA is also a highlight for school heads every year. The SOSA serves as an avenue for the school heads to inform the school stakeholders on how financial resources received by the school, including the allotted maintenance and other operating expenses, or MOOE, were spent. It also served as an opportunity to foster transparency and accountability and to let the school and community know how things were going, including plans and improvements. What about SOSA 360 degrees? Today, as we joyfully share with you the development and accomplishments of the school, we bring you SOSA 360. SOSA 360 is the presentation of the accomplishment of the school during the term of our school head, Dr. Almario N. Aurelio. Today's event will showcase the continuous progress and development of the school from the students, faculty, non-teaching personnel, and the school in general. Ladies and gentlemen, The Processional.
request everyone to stand for the national anthem to be led by Ms. Maricel L. Gomos and Mr. J. Y. Tuazo. Let us bow our heads to invoke God's presence and protection. Here is Mr. Ronnie W. Laluan with Ms. Gom Oz and Mr. Twazen. Ipakumbaka po natin ang ating pong mga sarili sa harapan ng ating pong may kapal. Aming dakilang Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat, ang Diyos na may likha ng lahat ng bagay, kayo ang Diyos na amin pong sinasamba sa oras pong ito at pinapasalamatan. Marami salamat sa iyong pong patuloy na pag-ibig, pagkalinga at pag-iingat sa amin sa nagdaang taon. Maraming salamat sapagkat patuloy niyo pong ipinakita ang iyong pong pag-ibig, pagmamahal sa amin. Maraming salamat sa aming pong paaralan. Maraming salamat po sa aming pong punong guro. Sa lahat ng mga guro, mga mag-aaral at mga magulang, na naging kabahagi sa aming pong pag-unlad. Marami salamat sapagkat patuloy po ang iyong pong ginagawang paggabay sa aming pong mga buhay. Oh uh -huh. 
at sa amin pong patuloy na pananalangin, ay dalangin po namin na patuloy nyo kaming pagpalain. Dalangin po namin ay yung pong patuloy na pagbabasbas, hindi lamang po sa amin pong mga buhay, kundi pati sa amin pong paaralan, sa amin pong pamunuan at sa lahat ng mga guru, mga mag-aaral at mga magulang. Dalangin po namin na patuloy nyo po kaming kalingain sa lahat ng amin pong mga gagawin. Sa taong ito na amin pong kakaharapin muli, ay hiling po namin na tulungan nyo po kami na patuloy po namin mapaunlaad lahat ng amin pong mga ginagawa, magawa ang amin pong mga tungkulin para po mabigyan ka ng kapurihan. Maraming salamat sa patuloy pong paggagabay sa amin. At ang lahat po ng mga gagawin po namin ay inahaalay po namin sa iyong pong dakilang pangal. Maraming salamat po sa lahat at ang lahat ng mga bagay na ito ay aming idinadalangin na mayroong papuri at pasalamat sa taking pangal ng aming Panginoon na tagapagligtas na si Jesus. Amen. Please welcome Dr. Almario N. Aurel. Capital City Mayor Josefina Joy Belmonte, Honorable Vice Mayor Gian G. Soto, Honorable Congresswoman Precious Siponito Castello, Our Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Jenilyn Rose B. Corpus, Assistant Schools Division Superintendents Engineer Mark Walter A. Padilla, Dr. Freddy V. Abindano, Dr. Noel D. Magano. And Dr. Brian E. Ilan, Chief SGOD Dr. Maria Teresa A. Namoro, OIC CID Dr. Ebenezer A. Benoy, Public Schools District Supervisor Dr. Ruth G. Ya, Honorable Barangay Captain Manny and Guarin in Council, Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma Foundation Board of Directors and Members. Assistant Principal for Senior High School, Mrs. Maria Rodora E. Malyao, Head Teachers and OICs of different departments, Ms. April B. Kunanan, Mr. Noel E. Jumadyao, Dr. Richard T. Katay, Dr. Johansen C. Yap, Mrs. Agnes A. Resurrection, Mr. June B. Nanayo, Mrs. Ma Cristina M. Feliciano, Mrs. Marisa D. Dimabildo, teaching and non-teaching personnel, faculty club officers, PTA officers and board members, JCMPHS Alumni Association officers and members, Sangguniang Kabataan na Barangay Payatas, Supreme Student Government officers and representatives, parents and students, Allow me to share to you a very inspiring quote from Chris Hadfield. And I quote, Competence means keeping your head in crisis, sticking with a task even when it seems hopeless, and improvising good solutions to tough problems when every second counts. It encompasses ingenuity, determination, and being prepared for anything. And now, the highlights of report. Let me start with the school report card. Taking the spotlight for school year 2020-2021. We had 9,235 enrolled students in junior high school and 603 in senior high school with a total population of 9,838. At present, our school population for both junior and senior high school is 10,623. 10,018 in junior high school with an increase of 8.45% and 605 in senior high school with an increase of 0.33%. Last school year, the school recorded 563 students who, who transferred out due to the great effect of pandemic, change of residence, natural calamity, unemployment, and family conflict. However, 
I am so proud to tell you that for this school year, the school has recorded only six transferred out in the second quarter, which simply manifests the decrease of 0.06 in the transferred out rate. This school year, the school attained 0% dropout rates or 0 out of 10,623 populations as compared to the previous dropout rate with 0.60% or 59 out of 9,838 populations. There is a great indication that students exercise the right to education for all as the school registered 440 Manic Aral students that are currently enrolled this school year. For the current year, the Pantawid Familian Filipino Program or 4 piece recipient enrolled in this school are 2,157. Same with the Manic Aral enrollment, the alternative learning system exhibits good manifestation that many in the community desire to gain knowledge as shown in the ALS enrollment with 137 this school year 2021-2022. As we continue to address the educational mandate, our school was able to produce 26 ALS completers last school year and they are currently enrolled as senior high school students. To provide quality and exceptional education to our learners, 59 or 19.3 faculty teaching force are currently taking their master's degree. 24 or 7.86% have completed master's degree. 4 or 1.31% are pursuing their doctorate studies. And 3 or 0.98% our full-fledged doctorate, doctorate degree holder. At this point, allow me to present to you the other significant figures for school year 2020-2021. Cohort survival rate was 78.67%. Completion rate of grade 10 was 92%. Promotion rate, grade 7 was 95.5%. Grade 8, 97.4%, grade 9, 93.35%, and for grade 10, 92%, with the average promotion rate of 94.56%. Our dropout rate for school year 2018-2019 was 3.44%, and for school year 2019-2020, we had 2.37%. For school year 2020-2021, we had a significant decrease in our dropout rate of 0.68%. This only showed that the programs and intervention of the school contributed to this said decrease. In terms of the number of students who stayed in school, we have a retention rate of 95.22%. Twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty one marks an alarming issue when it comes to students' academic performance. So ilan sa mga problema na uh, nagbigay sa amin ng attention or nagpukaw sa amin attention ay yung mga estudiante na hindi namin makontak. Do ginagawa ng mga guro yung lahat ng paraan para ito ay uh, ma magawa nila yung kanilang mga tungkulin. So Nag-usap-usap ang aming department to address the issue and also the school. Ang, ang isa sa napagkasunduan ay gumawa ng isang survey na kung saan iti-check namin kung ano po ang student academic performance ng bawat mag-aaral. To check as well dun, dun sa mga estudyante who are left behind. And uh, based on sa survey sa aming departamento, meron pong 1,056 students that who are at risk to fail. Meaning, hindi po 
sila nakokontak ng kanilang mga teacher, hindi rin po nila kinokontak yung kanilang mga guro. So what we did, we made a meeting with the core group leaders ng ESP department at nakipag-coordinate din po kami sa barangay pa yata. So we believe that uh, uh, this project will be more productive or easier kapag po nagagamit natin yung ating mga stakeholders just like the barangay pa yata's administration. So what we did, yun nga po ay nakipag-coordinate kami and we come up with a project of Sagip Mag-aaral 2020 na kung saan ang layunin po neto ay matulungan, maabot ang mga mag-aaral na pumasa sa kabila ng kahirapan dahil we know po na nasa, nasa shifting period po tayo ng ating um, changes when it comes to academics. So, sa pamamagitan po ng coordination with the barangay, nag-provide po sila ng mga purok leaders na kung saan itong purok leaders po ay igagayad kami to bring the modules to meet our students sa mga boundary points po and even sa kanila mga tahanan. So, itong project na ito ay napaka-effective though it is our first time to try it. Bakit po out of 1,056 students na we target who are at risk to fail, we reach almost the 96% of the students, more than 900 students, ay naabot po ng aming proyekto. And uh, of course, it will not be possible kung hindi po kami tinulungan ng Barangay Payatas with that uh, very easy access. So yung paraan po na aming ginamit ay we use yung kanilang barangay publication na kung saan yung mga guro ay nasa point lang po, nasa isang point at i-announce po ng barangay sa kanilang microphone na Teachers of Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma ay nasa ganitong ano po, yung mga mag-aaral pwede kayong kumuha ng module dito so lumalapit na lang po yung mga um, studyante sa amin yung mga hindi namin naabot, sila naman po yung pinupuntahan namin sa tahanan um, it takes uh, planning for one week, implementation for one week but it is a very good uh, achievement para po sa amin. Again po, hindi po ito magiging posible kung hindi po nagkaisa yung mga guro and yung suporta po ng ating paaralan. Kasi po, they, they provided as well the modules na kakailanganin namin and even um, yung konting part, yung sharing po sa kung ano ang kailangan ng mga guro. And uh, as well, as again, the barangay dahil napaka-supportive po nila mula sa sasakyan, sa mga purok leaders um, and also yung tak uh, techniques na dapat namin gawin paano namin maabot ng mas mabilis yung uh, true clustering yung aming mga estudyante. So with that, we are proud to say na sa GIP Mag-aaral 2020 and 2021 ay isang napaka um, gandang proyekto or napakagandang uh, intervention to reach out those who are students who are left behind. I am Lea Oyaon, grade 9 ASP teacher and guidance teacher. The success of accomplishing those significant figures was made possible through the collaborative efforts of the internal and external stakeholders of the school. Encompassing the 300 degree of relevant undertakings and efforts our school will showcase five major mechanisms we projected and performed to better deliver the basic education services to the Palmainian community. These five are strategic leadership, management of school operation and resources, teaching and learning focused, development of self and others, and building connections. These vibes serve as the light and salt of the school heading towards effective and efficient delivery of the school's basic services amidst the challenge of the COVID-19 pandemic. Mechanism 1. One of the key functions of the school council is to contribute to the development of the broad vision and direction for the school as part of the school strategic planning process. However, strategy is necessary to identify and execute actions that will lead to the realization of the desired future. 
strategic planning and constant monitoring of the progress of every endeavor were deemed an important fraction of the pie. Every department was personally met through a limited face-to-face -face session in order to invite them into the compass of turning the school into its destination of service and continuous improvement. Various capability trainings and upskilling were held both in limited face-to-face -face and virtual setup. Also, key personnel were directed to the future plans and programs of the school. Mechanism 2. A good school infrastructure with comfortable ambience makes it conducive for the children to learn. The impact of educational spaces on the students set out to identify empirical well-being of students in school. Schools' facilities were totally improved. The beautification of the school continued as the repainting of school walls and installation of stone standees and tables and chairs transpired in the different waiting areas. Different hand washing areas were built in the different corners of the school as it follows the theme hand hygiene for all. We also took the chance to rekindle the passion of gardening and lead us to create our very own prolific orchid garden, also known as the school orchidarium. An aviary is an enclosure which is designed for the keeping of birds. Aviaries are much larger than conventional birds' cages, allowing the birds to fly and promoting a more natural lifestyle. That's why school had its own aviary. We also have our very own school's garden at the rooftop of our school, our very own JCMPHS Gunayan sa Paaranan, Sugarland, or Sustainable Urban Gardening and Reforestation for Livelihood, Academic, and Nutrition Development. New faculty rooms and teachers' lunch were also built and improved. They serve as the important rooms for educators where they can relax before or after class, consult with colleagues, plan lessons, discuss educational issues and socialize with peers. There were huge improvement in the nighting ventilation. Also, large cabinets as stories of teaching materials in the new faculty rooms were also installed. Teachers can really testify that school is their second home. Rehabilitation of the TLE room is also pursued as of the moment. There is an ongoing construction of library where LRMDS and e-library are also installed. Renovation and improvement of school property office. Improvement of the learning and working condition of the school publication was also transpired. It provides an avenue for the improvement of a journalism room to be well equipped and conducive to the student journalists and advisors. Disaster preparedness consists of a set of measures undertaken by the school to better respond and cope with the immediate aftermath of a disaster, whether it be human-made or caused by natural hazard. That is why schools SDRRM, schools risk disaster risk reduction and management rooms were also renovated. Due to the health concerns of the school, intensified by the pandemic situation, one of the facilities which was quickly improved is the school cleaning. 
medicines and health equipments to cater the health needs of the school personnel and students are provided they are expanded and improved with well ventilated areas to be used comfortably by patients even experiencing serious medical ailments and many alcohol dispensers are also installed in strategic location in the school another milestone of the school that served as historical event was the installing and inaugurating of the head bust which symbolizes the late Justice Cecilia Monius Palma, where the school was renamed. The school has improved the faculty club office and QCPSTA officers personally attended to the inauguration of the said office as it was the first time in the history of the school to recognize the contribution for their organization to teachers' welfare. Okay, support ng teachers, ano, ang dami na yung masasabi sa kanya na magaganda. No? Unang-una sa lahat, yung kanya management style. No? Napaka-democratic dyan. And he delegates tasks. No? At lahat dyan ay mayroong role na ginagampanan. And aside from that, syempre, being a democratic person, nandiyon ang leniency niya. In that leniency, ay nagkaroon uh, ng freedom ang teachers to be creative. And that creativeness, no, and this leniency also empowered the teachers, no, to be competitive, no. And uh, every now and then he would uh, boost the teachers' confidence. So that's the kind of management style that he he has, no. And uh, besides that, hindi rin yaki na limuta ng physical development ng school. No? Pinakita niya at nakikita naman natin all over the, the campus ang landscapes and uh, nagkarat o oh, nag, uh, nakahilera dyan ang mga ornamental plants and uh, he even hired the services of an excellent artist for the murals so nakikita natin ang gandang tingnan ng school no? physically and of course nag uh, build sila ng aviary Ayan, we are being close to nature, no? And uh, of course, nakita rin niya, eh, dapat baguhin yung, uh, yung uh, picture ni Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma at nag-put uh, up sila ng kanyang headbust in a very strategic place. Nakitang-kita mo kaagad. So, ganun yung binigyan ng uh, honor ang ating uh, patron, no? And uh, besides that, makikita nyo natin sa labas, doon sa kanto ng Mulave, yung I Heart JCMP Chess Marker. Ayan, kitang-kita na tuloy, nakit ang uh, eskwelahan. No? Uh, ito ay area ng JCMP HS. And uh, besides that, ayun, sa faculty club office, no? napaka-proud namin, no? na pinagmamalaki namin ng aming office ay, uh, o ang ating office ay uh, isa sa mga pinakamaganda, if not the best, no, na faculty club office sa buong Quezon City. Ayan. So, so makikita naman natin yan. Na at, uh, of course, nung inauguration pa nga sa pagmamalaki ni Sir Al, he even asked us to invite Sir Chris uh, Nabales, no? to uh, be part of the inauguration. Okay. And uh, of course, maliban niya sa faculty club office, yung mga faculty rooms I have been built and re renovated. No? Sa ngayon, merong uh, uh, six faculty rooms na talagang uh, magaganda. May mga sarili-sariling tables ang mga teacher. No? At na mas naging conducive para sa trabaho ng ating teachers. Ayan. So, sa kanyang personal uh, relations sa amin, naku, unang-una ho dyan, napakahambol niya. No? Siya ang pupunta sa'yo pag kailangan ka niya, hindi kanya niya patatawag. There was one time in the faculty planning, we were planning for this Christmas party, no? at kailangan namin ng kanyang approval for a proposition. Ano? And hindi kami makapunta sa kanya, we asked for his presence. We requested for his presence and immediately he went to us no he went to the office 
So hindi na siya nagsabi, okay na pumunta rito, no? That was a humble person. And being that, alam na natin that his personality is very approachable. Anybody can approach him. Anybody can talk to him whenever they see him around the campus, no? And he is very, very fatherly, no? To the teachers, no? Yan. Yung, this father image now no, draws us closer to him. And I think no, everybody, all teachers, love him. I am Edwin L. Dawa, president of the Justice Cecilia Muñoz Palma High School Faculty Club. Mechanism 3. Mechanism number 3 focus on ensuring teaching and learning. Despite the uncertainty of education sector due to pandemic, our school can assure that putting a premium on teaching and learning is still our main priority. Proof to this is our continuous adherence to the monitoring of BEC's compliant modules, facilitation of the release of tablets by the LGU, Maraming Salamat Quezon City LGO. Close monitoring of the conduct of online classes and supervision of the distribution and retrieval of printed modules. Ensuring every learner's right to education is the top priority of the school as various teachers and students, students' learning engagements were delivered as expected. Mechanism 4 is developing self and others. That is our school as an institution for human development. The need for continuous professional and personal growth and development was not only encouraged among teachers, but also to the non-teaching personnel. This idea is being instilled among the Palmanian not just to be part of their dreams, but become a community of practice in the school. The idea of developing self and other can be glanced at various commendation, commendations, awards, and recognitions received by the teachers and the non-teaching personnel. Just this year, we were able to harvest the fruits of our toils. The workforce and the student body comprise strong and rich human resource which is evident in the awards and recognition garnered by teachers and students in various academic contests, teaching and non-teaching competitions from district to regional level. Not only that, when it comes to the advancement from the one position to another with an increase in the duties and responsibilities, we also have master teachers who are promoted into the next level and head teachers promoted to principal positions. Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma High School is truly the home of Quezon City's finest. At this juncture, I am proud to present the students and teachers who gave pride and honor to the school. The students who coped various awards in the district and division levels were Sheila May B. Abraham, Althea Nicole B. P. Chidosio, Althea Ojeda, Alvin John R. Santos, Helen E. Pablo, Christian D. Pacunaba, Mary Rose Osal, Jemeline P. Abergido, Daniel F. Yosa, Carcerin M. N. Barcina, and Arnold Dunay. For the teacher level, teacher contest winners who exhibited their teacher skills were Ria L. Panganiban, Ruth B. Anzano, Pamela Diana Jane C. Valencia, Mr. Jonathan V. Gambol, 
মির্না এই মাচাস মিসেস জ্যাকলিন টি আঙ্গুলুয়ান মিসেস মারিয়া চৌহান এই কাপুরাল এস ডি ও কিউ সি বেস্ট এল আর এম ডি এস ইমপ্লিমেন্টার অ্যাওয়ার্ডস রিসিপিয়েন্স ওয়ের ব্রিগেড ও বিলিয়ন ওয়েভা এম জুন বি নায়ু The school also received awards and recognitions on Project Vasa, finalist in search for the 10 best school reading remediation program. Most innovative solution worldwide fund and plan international Philippines. Outstanding school partner for the University of the Philippines Castle City branch. Third most outstanding LRMDS implementers, D.O. Quezon City most outstanding LRMDS implementer award, and Project Reach, which garnered third place as best CIP in the SDO QC search for best CIP. The school's division office of Quezon City conducted Gawad Barangal 2021 and Mr. Jofiel T. Sincil, our dispersing officer, was awarded as one of the division outstanding employees. Not only that, the teachers have excelled also in the 2021 program and awards and incentives for service excellence or praise where several teachers and head teachers were declared champions and finalists from district to division level. And our praise 2021 District 2 awardees and division finalists were Mark Lester G. Latines, District 2 Outstanding Teacher in Araling Panipunan and Gawad Parangal Most Resilient District Coordinator, Brigitte Ovillanueva, District 2 Outstanding Teacher in English. Mr. Jun Bin Alayo, District 2 Outstanding Teacher in TLE. Grace B. Inopia, District 2 Outstanding Master Teacher in English. Sarah Jane P. Mayuba, Outstanding Teacher, Finalist, Non-Print Materials in Filipino. Arwin M. Marayag, finalist for the Outstanding School Reading Coordinator in English for Project BASA, Pagbasa, Susi sa Pagbasa, a division search for Best School Reading Remediation for School Year 2020-2021. Edwin L. Dava, finalist, Division Outstanding Teacher Leader 2021. Noel E. Jumadjao, District 2 Outstanding Head Teacher in Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao. Our Grades 2021 District and Division Outstanding Teacher Awardees, we have Kevin I. Simak, District 2 and Division Outstanding Virtual Demonstration Teacher in Filipino. Pamela Diana Jane C. Valencia. District 2, Outstanding Virtual Demonstration Teacher in MAPE and Division Best Non-Print Learning Resource Developer. Vanessa T. Nava, District 2 and Division Outstanding Virtual Demonstration Teacher in English. And there's more, Dr. Richard T. Katain, District 2 and Division Outstanding Head Teacher in Araling Panipunan. And when it comes to advancement of our teachers, three master teachers were promoted to master teacher two, and they are Annalisa T. De La Rosa, master teacher two, uh, John Swan Luna High School. Grace B. Inopia, master teacher two, Bagong Sinangan High School. And Maria Emily Tinumpas, Master Teacher 2, Lago High School. Furthermore, two head teachers, six, took their new post. One is 
Maria Rodora E. Mariao as Assistant School Principal of Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma Senior High School. And the other is Nodovina A. Porcari as the Assistant School Principal of Emilio Jacinto Senior High School. In the recent third SBM Gawad Parangal 2021, Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma High School is recognized and awarded as SBM Level 3, the highest accreditation level given to a public school in the Philippines. Congratulations to all. Now, let me proceed to Mechanism 5. As an educator and believer in the academic process, I am convinced that it really takes a village to raise a child. Alongside with this very popular proverb is the support and assistance given to us by our school partners and stakeholders. Our school recognizes and appreciates how the support of the local government unit of Quezon City, the Barangay Payatas Council, the alumni, the parents and partners, and non-government organizations. Their joint effort contributed a huge mark of success in the realization of the various targeted program and projects of the schools. We are very grateful to all of them. With the enforcement of community quarantine, communities are struggling to find their next meals due either to loss of income or access to food sources or a combination of both. That's why GCMPHS proudly presents our very own vegetable pantry in partnership of Ateneo de Manila where numerous parents of our beloved students partaken to this meaningful event. Kumusta po kayo? Um, ano pa ang ALS? Ang ALS ay isang, or let us define ALS, Alternative Learning System. Ito yung alternatibong pamamaraan para ang ating mga estudyante or out-of-school youth ay mabigyan pa ng uh, pagkakataon para sila ay maipagpatuloy ang kanilang pag-aaral at mabigyan pa sila ng pag-asa o magandang kinabukasan. So, online enrollment, dahil nandiyan si Sir Jun na supportive para ma, may ano ka na, may link ka na, ganyan-ganyan, pa-check mo na lang. Ganyan, ganyan. Maraming enrollees, pero knowing uh, that time kasi, parang yun yung pagbubum pa lang ng, ano, ng pandemic time. Sabi natin, there are hundreds, pero half of them lang yung nag-attend. Tapos then, little by little, habang tumatagal, paunti ng paunti. Pero successfully, meron tayong 26 na nakagraduate last year. So sabi ko nga, it's not the number that matters. Kasi kahit one or two lang yan, lumapit sa'yo, natulungan mo at nag-success. ba Ang sarap sa pakiramdam. Ang sarap sa feeling na teacher ka. So yun. And you know, ngayon, parang nagdoble, na triple ata ang aming enrollees. Again, from online and dahil ganito nga ang kalagayan natin, on and off, online classes kami uli. Pero pag may time talaga, hindi talaga ako pumapayang na puro kami online kasi I, I really wanted to meet them. Kasi alam mo naman, mga ALS people talagang gusto nila mga matinding, ano, matinding motivation, matinding pukpukan talaga, hindi yung pa-online-online lang. So, na-triple ang aming enrollment. Niloloko pa nila ako kasi maganda daw ako. Ah! Maganda daw yung teacher nila. So, na-inspire. Pero what really inspires us here, yung top 10 of the ship talaga yun na lagong naririnig sa mga speech nila na. Very inspiring talaga. Sir Al is one of a kind. Uh, I cannot think of a word to describe him kasi parang masyado ng gasgas kung sasabihin ko pa na ang bait ni Sir, supportive ni Sir. Nandun na lahat eh. 
Uh, for me personally, I, I really cannot express na parang alam mo yun. <laughs> alam mo yung pakiramdam na napakasimple mong tao pero na, na, naisasama ka, isinasabay ka kasi kinoconsider niya everything is fair. Yung talagang kung may fair and just talaga sa kanya. So ngayon, meron kaming almost 200. Sana sana magmaterialize uli lahat. And so that's it. Thank you very much kay Sir at sa mga taong mga teachers na nakapaligid sa akin. Hindi lang ako si Sir Noel kasi kami ni Sir Noel talaga ang stakeholder dito. Thank you so much kasi hindi ko rin naman 'to magagawa na. Alam mo 'yun, ma may facilitate mo ang isang department kumbaga without the help of the others. I cannot make it alone. Thank you. I am Marilyn S. Vergara, ALS Instructional Manager of Justice Cecilian Munoz Palma High School. At this point, let me continue with the continuous plans and projects for future directions of the school. Guided by the DepEd's mission, vision, and core values, the school is utilizing its principles of educating nurturing, and making learners gainful, worthwhile, and productive citizens of the country by helping them reshape their future to produce a positive impact that would make a difference on their lives. With this end, the school's strategic directions are geared toward realizing the unfathomable sense of pride to commit it. And so, where are we now? And where are we heading? To improve the academic performance of the students and to address the difficulties in their studies, the school planning team composed of the administration, together with its dynamic and highly competent teachers, spearheaded different programs and interventions like Sagip Sardo, which aims constantly monitor students who are at risk of dropping out. Similar programs like Sagip Mag-aaral, Project Bridge, Project Star, Gentle Care, and Barkada Contra Droga, which aim to help to strengthen the home school partnership, create a support system for learners, and promote teaching and learning approaches through the individualized instructions and peer learning. Articulating the one that had shared vision mission and values that enable all stakeholders to work towards a common vision with a well-communicated and executed strategic plan everyone is informed of their school's goal and how their actions are contributing to the achievement of this goal effectively organizing schools and their staff by encouraging its commitment by showing staff members that their work is essential, part of a larger strategy to help their school succeed. Defining how success is measured by monitoring its progress towards key outcomes and evaluate where and how it may have gotten off track. Aiding the school's board with government's decisions and providing direction for the future with a roadmap which it can track, evaluate, and modify to facilitate better governance. Increasing communication and engagement to various stakeholder support and additional benefits from the supportive foundations, NGOs, and LGOs to support our school that has clear vision and a strategy to make it happen. Keeping everyone in a school, from teachers to administrator and to other value school community stakeholders connected in a well-implemented and communicated plan holds, which necessitates all staff accountable for the actions and encourages collaboration. Improve its academic performance and the MPS in the NAC by at least 2% of a higher at a gradual stage. 
reduce, if not eradicate, if it is possible to have a zero dropout rate of the school by employing and cascading the SSS and other valuable and worthwhile intervention programs. Increase awareness and improvement of the national status of students through feeding program. Enhance the teaching learning skills of teachers by improving their competencies and abilities in teaching. Decongest the overpopulation size of classroom by providing sufficient building and classrooms. Reduce non-reading and non-numeracy rates of students including its reading comprehension ability and poor numeracy and accuracy in the manipulation of figures among the students. The school is deeply committed to perform its priorities to providing quality students educational achievements and teachers effective performance through the projected framework. Supportive, that's the best word I'll describe, Sir Al. Sa lahat po ng projects namin, lagi po siya nakasuporta, lagi nakagabay. Tapos kapag nangingi po kami ng help sa kanya, lagi po niya kaming tinutulungan. Tapos kapag po may mga biglaan po kaming pasalita, yung mga speeches po, lagi lang po siyang, lagi po siyang G, okay po siya. Tapos, nagkaroon po kami ng charity, SSG. Yun po yung first charity event ng SSG. And super na-overwhelm po kami kasi nandun po si Sir Al, nakagabay po, kahit po, kahit po hindi po siya naka-attend dahil po meron po siyang in na awarding po ata yun. Ah... Uh, Nandun pa rin po yung ano niya, presence niya po. Lagi niya po kaming ginu good luck. Sa lahat po ng projects ng SSG, Students Welfare po, uh, lagi po nandiyan sa amin si Sir Al, kaya po nagti-thank you po kami dahil po sa support na binibigay niya. During the time of pandemic, alam po nating mahirap yung pinagdadaanan and kailangan po... Kailangan na lang po nating tanggapin na ganito po talaga yung situation natin ngayon. So, para po hindi po mapabayaan yung pag-aaral namin students, gumagawa po ng paraan yung school para po magpa magpatuloy po kami sa pag-aaral. Tulad na lang po ng mga teachers po dito sa Palma na ginagawa po parang tunay na classroom kahit po virtual lang. Kinagawa po nila na Gumagawa po sila ng paraan para po maging lively po yung students. Tulad po ng nagpapa-games po sila, yun. On behalf of the Palmanians, we would like to thank our teachers sa mga efforts na ginagawa nila. Dahil po sa inyo, natututo kami. At kung hindi po dahil sa inyo, kung sa una po sumuko din po kayo, hindi niyo po kami tinulungan mag-adjust. Siguro po, hanggang ngayon po, wala pa rin po, wala po kaming natututunan. Kaya po, thank you po. I am Nicole Andrea Molina Tating. I am the President of Supreme Student Government 2021-2022. Magandang araw, let me just share to you a story of how Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma High School has helped me to become the person that I am today. In June of 2011, I was a typical student full of enthusiasm on the first day of school. It was my last year in high school and also it is the last year of my stay in this institution. So I bring this um, enthusiasm and high hope that I will finish high school with ease and grace. But that is really not what had happened. Along the way, I faced challenges that the typical youth of this community encounter in their everyday life. I experienced poverty, 
lack of financial support, family conflict, and that is only to name a few. And I experienced most of it. And to be honest, I almost surrendered. But you know what made me hold to my humble dream to become a teacher? Despite these challenges that I encountered, it was the foundation and the core of this institution. They are my teachers. Aside from being inspired and amazed of how graceful they are in doing their job, it was also definitely that I found my backbone of support from them. I may not be the most liked student in a class, I may also not the smartest or even close to being one, but I know that somehow, somewhere inside this institution, someone believed in me and someone believed that I can achieve any aspiration in life. This institution has been a safe space for me to dream an impossible dream. And the people around it are the ones that allowed me to do whatever or to dream whatever dream I may have. So for those people that helped me and believed in me, you know who you are. Maraming salamat po from the bottom of my heart. I am now a teacher in this institution and I owe it all to you guys. I am definitely grateful or forever grateful for the opportunity that Justice Cecilia has given to me. Maraming salamat, Justice Cecilia Muñoz Palma High School. Mabuhay ka! I am Paolo Alfonso Bansil and I am a proud alumni of Justice Cecilia Muñoz Palma High School. With that, I want to conclude my report with this quote from Walter Annenberg. I want to remind you that success in life is based on hard slogging. There will be periods when discouragement is great and upsetting, and the antidote for this is calmness and fortitude and a modest yet firm belief in your competence. Be sure that your priorities are in order so that you can proceed in a logical manner and be ever mindful that nothing will take the place of persistence. Thank you and mabuhay para sa bata, para sa guro, para sa bayan. Padayon! Justice Cecilia Muniz Palma High We thank you all for your continued support. Your words of appreciation keep us motivated during these challenging times. Thank you so much for watching. This concludes the State of the School Address 2022 of Justice Cecilia Munoz Padma High School. Keep safe and God bless us all.